so that happened. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little uh, dance routine there, dance announcement. Um, yeah, so I'm making a beat tape. It's called 24. Uh, it has 24 tracks based on the 24 hours in a day. I started this project about a year ago, and it was basically, to begin with, a way of just collecting together different beat ideas that I had. Um, if you follow our Set Sail channel, where we post vlogs and little documentaries, I would sometimes make um, these short beats just for backgrounds of those videos, and I bought an Ableton Push at the start of this year, and I've been experimenting with that, posting some videos on my Instagram of uh, little like 30 second, one minute beats that I've made with this thing, and quite a few people were asking me to put out full length versions of these tracks, and so it basically started as that. I was like, okay, I will extend some of these ideas, put them all together as one beat tape, and it could just be a fun little side project. But the more I started to think about this concept of 24 tracks based on the 24 hours in a day, um, it actually became a real journey. And I started to look, even through scripture, at some of the verses about the times of day. And one of the key verses was Psalm 19, which says, the heavens declare the glory of God. There is a message going out. Like, the word is almost like, um, like it's God's masterpiece on display. Like it's him just like showing the work of his hand, his creation every single day. When we look up, um, I kind of love that I have this skylight window right here. Um, and I, often I was just creating music and literally looking out the window and thinking, okay, this hour is really light and it's bright and it has a certain feel and mood to it. Or I was sitting here playing piano and looking out at like the moon and the night sky and realizing, okay, this is a different kind of feel as well and different atmosphere. And so every single time, every single hour has this uniqueness about it. And it's like God's masterpiece of beauty and creation in the sky every single day. And it's like his message to the earth. It's his message to his people to say like, I'm here. I'm a creator and um, we see the beauty in creation and realize like how much more beautiful the creator is and it may not be using words um, like Psalm 19 says it's not necessarily words that are being communicated but it's a message that is going out as we see the sun taking its circuit across the sky as we see day to day and night to night and um, really I think it's a wrestle with being present versus being distracted and I think that's one of the big challenges of this day and age and this generation particularly is there is so much fighting for our time whether it's you know technology social media entertainment work life all of this kind of stuff is like trying to get our time trying to get our attention and to actually be present in a moment and not be distracted is um something we have to make a conscious effort to do i remember coming back from my trip to japan uh like a few months ago and i was kind of crazy jet lagged my body clock was all over the place and I was lying in bed at like 3 a.m. just looking at my ceiling and um, I started to realize that nobody else that I know in the UK right now is probably awake. Like pretty much everyone will be asleep. Um, most of the shops are closed. I can't go out and visit the cinema. I can't go out and buy things. I can't ring up most of my friends and have a conversation because in this particular hour, most people I know are asleep. And suddenly I realized, but I can pray. Like, God is very present in this moment. Even though it's 3 a.m., it's the middle of the night, the rest of the nation seems like it's asleep and there's nothing happening, but God is present. And not only is he listening when I pray, but he's speaking things and he's communicating things. And there's certain unique things that he wants to say, even at 3 a.m., even while we're sleeping or trying to get to sleep because we're jet lagged. And it just led me on this whole journey of learning to be present and recognizing God's presence because a lot of the time I think it's not that God isn't present, it's that we don't recognize his presence with us at that time. And I think about verses where it says like to pray without ceasing. I think a lot of that is about taking every single moment in our day and recognizing God's presence in that moment. And so I say all of that to say these are some of the things that I was starting to learn throughout this year, throughout this process of creating this beat tape, and what actually started as I'm just going to collect some beats together became a whole new project in itself, and actually the majority of these 24 songs are new songs written for this thing, and um, people have been asking are they all instrumental, and no they're not, about nine of them have words, and a lot of them are around these themes, Psalm 19, Ecclesiastes, um, 
learning to be present and not to be distracted. I'm super excited about how it's come out. Um, there's 24 tracks. The whole runtime is just under an hour and it literally flows like as one piece. There's a lot of work has gone into the transitions between each song, making sure that songs connect and songs flow well together. Um, there are certain pauses and certain gaps as well, but it's a real journey of an album. And because it's a journey, I wanted to share it as a journey rather than just dump 24 tracks on everyone and it's quite a lot to take in. Um, I'm going to be sharing a couple of tracks at a time every single week. So starting next Friday, November the 8th, um, there's going to be two songs every single Friday coming out up until the final release date in January. If you can figure out when that will be, then you get bonus points. But yeah, that's just a little flavour of this Beat Tape 24 and uh, tune in next Friday to hear the first two songs. We'll see you then.